I think what made our marriage so wonderfully uh, happy and successful uh, was the partnership we had and the shared values with regard to race relations. Um, it's interesting um, where we were both strong people, strong in our beliefs. And um, there was a story when my husband was a judge and uh, the Chief Justice was giving the judges a lecture about not being involved in politics. And then he turns to Bob and says, I, except you, Delahanty, I know you can't control your wife. I mean, I mean that, it, you know, it was possible that two people with very strong convictions, so long as they're shared convictions, can have a very uh, successful marriage because of their beliefs. Um, economic injustices, for example. And the other thing, um, Bob, came, graduated from George Washington in Washington, D.C., and so we, he had a choice to make. He was given several offers to stay in the Washington area, but he wanted to come back to Louisville. And um, at the time, I had two babies. And, uh, you know, he had to come back and establish himself in the legal profession. He had to take the bar. and. We came back at a time when Louisville was in tremendous turmoil because it was the time when Ann and uh, Ann Braden and Carl were on trial and uh, for sedition. And here Bob comes back, has decides he would open his own practice, did not go in with a large bar, uh, you know, a, a large corporate uh, uh, group, and. Um, down the hall from his office, there was one of the attorneys that was representing the Bradens. So Bob offered to do whatever clerical work that Bob, the other Zollinger, was doing. So that's how we kind of just jumped into Louisville, Kentucky, and right away things just started happening. 